Hello everyone, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. I believe today is day 13, I think it is, don't hold me against it. I've been out here for so long, I've uh, lost track of what day it is. Um, but, the galaxy is just looking fantastic. And I've got a surprise for you. It's not a Earth-like planet. But it is two high metal content planets. And it's my favourite ones. Because they just look fantastic. So I'm going to get nice and uh, close to them. look at the stars in the distance it's fantastic I also like it when you are approaching a planet just the way it just gets bigger and bigger it just gives you a sense of size of the game how big the distances are between the actual planets. It'll help if we go around the uh, bright side. It's fantastic. I do like the colour of the atmosphere. It's got a nice bright blue haze around the outside. It's a very red planet by the looks of it. But the atmosphere is so bright and blue you can hardly see it. Uh, there's some lakes. But what are those lakes? Let's travel to the next one. Ooh. It's fantastic. I think that just looks magnificent. So pretty. And then you get to the dark side. So how far away is uh, this one? That's a, that one's got rings around it. Methane rich. Yeah. Nitrogen, methane, ammonia. Wow, I would not like to be there. But anyway guys, I will come back when I get to that other high metal content and with a little surprise as well right, I'll see you in a second so guys we are approaching the high metal content 
I am. Oh god, I'm going too quick. <laughs> I am curious on what rings they are. Because this planet is huge. It's six times the size of Earth. I'll show you that in a minute on the uh, system map. But let's just get nice and close. I can see the rings coming into play. Oh, this is a nice uh, feature flying over the rings. I think it just looks fantastic. So this planet is six times the size of Earth, and it has a ring system around it. Let's take a look, shall we? bad thing to do is actually crash because I'm nowhere near a station so the last thing I want to do is hit an asteroid so I'm going to just quickly get this view out the way this looks fantastic I do like the way the thrusters uh, make the camera go a bit fuzzy and shaky Magnificent. Let's get down and deep. Just look at that. <laughs> Looks fantastic. I do like flying about these asteroid fields. But this is the whole point of exploration. Just look, so pretty this game. So let's just get away from there so we don't crash into anything. So you can see the particles just flying past. The detail is magnificent. I couldn't ask for more. So system map. What have we got in this uh, system then? A class F star. It's been around for 3,000 million. <laughs> yeah, you know. Just read it. Um, next is a gas giant. Class Y dwarf. That's the gas giant. I'm going out. Class 3. I've messed this up totally. I do apologise. But this is where it gets interesting. High metal content, methane rich. Two times the size of Earth. We'll go over to this one. Six times the size of Earth. Methane again with the atmosphere. Surface pressure. 
So very exciting. So what we're going to do is because I haven't even plotted a course yet. I'll show you where we're going. Uh, this direction. This one right here. The reason for it is because there's a load of um, white dwarfs in this nebula. And I think inside that will be just fantastic. Like the colours will be amazing. Now there is one nebula I do want to go to. And I think it's a quite close to home. This one. Is it that one? No, it's the um, it's a cotton candy one. It just looks, it's very bright blue, and it's uh, like bright pink as well, and there's like a bit of white in there. I will go to it before I go home. But I think all the nebulas just look fantastic. Anyway, let's plot a course. Lost where we're going now. Let's just go back to my current position. Um, this one there. So. So what we want to do. There we go. Want to go up a bit, but not too much. And then just plop. It doesn't take so long to load in now. Friendship drive charging. But we'll say one goodbye to this lovely planet Four, three, off we go two, one, oh I almost forgot we have reached 50 subscribers thank you everyone who has subscribed I really appreciate it and with all my love I thank you all and we have got over 3,000 views on my YouTube channel which I'm just ecstatic and there's quite a lot in this system I think I'm going to be here for a while but let's see what we've got hang on fuel scooping complete obviously not it looks like we just used a ton of fuel in our reserve tank All right Let's see what's here fuel scoop disengaged oh baby oh hello beautiful and hello beautiful 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 and beautiful high metal contents and earth's likes I mean um water worlds I am over the moon. Ecstatic. Hurrah, hurrah. Right. Anyway, guys. I will see you guys in a second. When I find some nicer planets to look at. Maybe that Earth like. I mean, I can. Water world, I'm sorry. Right, I'll see you in a second, folks. And here we have a high metal content planet with a 98% carbon dioxide atmosphere and the other 2% is sulfur dioxide 
No, it just looks thick. Like that atmosphere. I mean, you can even spend a second on that. Just look how thick it is. Magnificent. Alright. A nice glow from the horizon. Beautiful. And I'll see you on the next planet. Now this is another one of my uh, favourite planets to look at. It's a, uh, another high metal content. I just love the clouds, the effect on everything really. Like the storms that are going on, just the detail is just unreal. Especially with the stars in the background. To me there's some craters on this planet, so it's had a bit of a bashering. I don't know how they do it, but those clouds, they look 3D. It looks like it's off the ground. It just looks unreal. For a video game. It's like you just sat in space and just looking down. Just look at that there. It might not look as good on YouTube as it does in my eyes, but unbelievable. Now that's a storm. I wouldn't like to be in the center of that. You can just see it swirling all the way around. Beautiful. But we didn't come here for that. We came here for this. I hope, anyway. Or it might just be the last one that I scan. Too late, we missed it. System map. Yes, and there we are, folks. We are on our way to the water world. It's um, half the size of Earth, so therefore half the gravity. Now, I've been out here for so long. I, I've forgotten how long I've been out here. It's probably been over a month. I can't remember. Um, I miss my anaconda so much. The weapons. That ship is just a destroyer. I had three pulse lasers on there, two rail guns, plasma accelerator, and two missile packs. Ah, oh, oh, that ship. I miss popping off sidewinders. I miss shooting Anagondas attacking bigger ships. I miss flying through asteroids and being shot at. And, uh, I miss the look, the look of stations. I miss my other ships, the way they handle, the way they fly, the sound. But. I, I'm just taking, taken away by what this galaxy has unfolded. My lovely asp is being wonderful. The paint job is still there for God's sake. And I've got 92% hull damage. And we're going to do a flyby. So let's do a flyby first. Whoa, don't crash into it. Ha <laughs> Fantastic. So let's get up close and personal. Oh, God. Wow. 
what have we got folks? Bum bum bum, a water world. Oh, these look fantastic. I am going to get nice and close to it as well. Yes. So I think it just looks even better when you're up close and personal. Just look at that. For a planet that's half the size of Earth, it's still gigantic. That's just weird. Coming up to another storm. It's like I'm the uh, International Space Station. Just flying around planets and just taking in the uh, magnificent views. There's also the pole as well. Uh, the ices. Fantastic. But I think today's the day. I call it. I would like to thank you very much for watching. I believe it's been it's been fun. Um I'm gonna give exploration a break for a little bit. Well, uploading videos anyway, because I'm I'm running out of stuff to talk about. I I, I really don't know, but I'll give it a week and I'll be back. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. You're Not you, Astra. Not you. People watching this, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, all. And ciao for now. I'll tell you what, I just confused the hell out of you. I just said my goodbyes, but I've just came across a system which I am just... I can't really explain it. Right, so you got all this, yeah? High metal contents, which is I like to see. And I like, I do like gas giants. This one in particular looks lovely up close. But that's the main star and if I go over to the navigation screen you can see that they're all orbiting very very close to each other within one or two thousand light seconds so that's three stars all those gas giants and all those moons, high metals. I'm gonna stop it here, but I will come back when I'm up close, just just to uh, finish this episode off properly. I uh, do apologise about that as well, and I will be uploading more videos soon. I'm not gonna give a break. I, I'm enjoying myself, and I'm enjoying uploading videos. So I hope you are as well. And I will see you in just a second. Oh, I've got a long time to wait. <laughs> now, to be honest, I was expecting them to be really close together. But there's a gas giant in front of me. Some moons orbiting it. There's another gas giant there in the distance. I believe that's a star. And there's another star there. Another gas giant. And there's one just over 2,000 light seconds away. I don't know why, but I was expecting them to be really, really close together when I was over 100 light seconds away. 
but I wonder what gas giant this one is. It looks to be that purpley blue one to me. Now, are they ice rings? If they are, I'm going to pay a little visit. Looks to me they are. Yes, icy rings. Now the reason why I'm going to pay it a little visit is because I am just blown away by the detail of these icebergs. If you want to call them icebergs. <laughs> so let's get uh, nice and close. Fantastic. And this is what I like about these ice asteroids. Is it so bright in here? Especially when you get up close and personal to one as well. little cluster here we'll fly through it's fantastic you can also see the planet in the distance there it's just a detail They have changed the uh, draw distance, which I'm a bit ashamed of. Anyway guys, I think here is a good opportunity to end it. Oh, watch out for that iceberg, you don't want to crash into it. Or sink like the Titanic. Right folks. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to say my second goodbye. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye folks. Bye bye.